Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're having an issue with hyperlinks in Microsoft Outlook. And when you try and open up the link, it says your organization's policies are preventing us from opening this link. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and start by opening up the registry editor. So in order to do that, just open up the start menu, type in reg, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. So again, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, or just type in Registry Editor. Best match should come back a Registry Editor here. Right-click on that, and then left-click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, left-click on Yes. Now you want to go and create a backup of the registry, so if you ever need to go back, you could always just restore back from a backup. In order to do that, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left-click on the File tab up at the top left. Left-click on Export. Save it to a convenient location on your computer, and then for file name, whatever name makes the most amount of sense, usually the date that you're making the backup is what I'd recommend. And then export range, select all, save it to again a convenient location, and if you ever need to go back from the backup, just do file import, and navigate over to the file. So pretty straightforward. Once you've done that, now you want to go expand the HKEY current user folder. So either double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the software folder. So again, expand that. Should be a classes folder in here. Expand that one as well. And now there should be something that says .html right here. Now the default value on the right side, you want to right click on it and then left click on modify. Now inside of this edit string field, you want to go type in HTML file. So all one word, so HTML file, F-I-L-E. Get HTML, F-I-L-E, no spaces at all, and then left click on OK. Once we're done with that, you can safely close out of here. Attempt to open up Outlook again and see if your hyperlinks are working once more. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.